While the calls for Harry and Meghan to be stripped of their royal titles keeps getting louder. The two Sussexes released their second and final instalment of their Netflix docuseries, which was again met with mixed reviews. Harry and Meghan made multiple accusations about family members, calling King Charles a liar and a leak, airing a heated fight with William, insinuating that he was a bully, and implying the late Queen Elizabeth just sat back. But it seems the controversial couple are continuing to see a decline in popularity. A new poll carried out by the UK's The Sun publication revealed 9 in 10 of their readers, or 93%, believe the couple should be stripped of their Duke and Duchess title. Of the poll, which was answered by 33,000 people, only 4% believe they should be able to keep the titles. In 2020, when they stepped down as senior royal members and moved to California, they did lose their His and Her Royal Highness title along with the perks. But critics would say the two have continued to exploit their remaining titles and they don't deserve them after their public swipes against the family. The online poll also revealed that 83% of readers believe Harry and Meghan should be banned from attending King Charles' coronation on May 6. But that might not be an option for the two regardless. Royal expert Angela Levin believes the takedown of the royal family from Prince Harry and Meghan will cost them an invitation to the coronation. She told The Sun, you can't have people like this going to the King's coronation. It's an important occasion and it can't just be all about them. And if they do come, it will be all about them. I think William will say absolutely not, you cannot come. He is the most annoyed about all of this. And today, once again, they dragged him through the mud. Princess Harry and William have had a noticeably fractured relationship the past few years since Harry's royal exit out of the monarchy. The Duke of Sussex took aim at his brother, saying that he yelled at him in discussions about leaving to California. It was terrifying to have my brother um, scream and shout at me and my father say things that just simply weren't true and, and my grandmother, you know, quietly sit there and, and sort of take it all in. But you have to understand that from a family's perspective, especially from hers, there are ways of doing things and her ultimate sort of mission goal or slash responsibility is the institution. One of the scenes from the docuseries that has been criticised online is the scene in which the couple discuss their living arrangement at Nottingham Cottage, where they call it so small. Kensington Palace sounds very regal. Of course it does. It says palace in the name. But Nottingham Cottage was so small. The whole thing's on a slight, on a slight lean, <laughs> really low ceiling. So I don't know who was there before. They must have been very short. He would just hit his head constantly in that, <laughs> that place because he's so tall me with a hoe and H varnishing. It was just a chapter in our lives where I don't think anyone could believe what it was actually like behind the scenes. Well, Oprah came over for tea, didn't she? She did. And when she came in, she sat down, she goes, no one would ever believe it. No one would ever believe it. This had online users criticizing them for the comments. One person wrote, a very cozy home that was not appreciated by the greedy and selfish pair. They did not deserve that lovely home. Another said, as millions of Brits and some across the world struggle to find where to find warmth this December, two privileged whiners are complaining about Nottingham Cottage. OK. I think many people would love to live at Nottingham Cottage, another wrote. Finally, I can't believe they're going to complain about the size of a house when there are people on the streets and living in temporary accommodation and people who can't afford to move out of their parents' home and people who are paying crazy money for a place the size of Nottingham Cottage.